7.3, proportional division. Sometimes we need to divide something in a given ratio. Uh, for example, Malcolm and Allison share the profits from their business in the ratio 2 to 3. That's how we read this here, 2, 2, 3. This means that out of every 5 pounds profit, for example, uh, Malcolm would get 2 pounds and Allison gets 3. And so here, the total 5 is shared between Malcolm and Allison in this ratio 2 to 3. Okay, so let's look at an example, and hopefully this concept will make sense. Julie and Jack run a stall at a car boot sale, or flea market, and take a total of 90 pounds. So they sell whatever they happen to have, and they make a profit of 90 pounds. So they share the money in the ratio 4 to 5. How much does each receive? Okay, so first of all, we can write this uh, when we're doing ratios here. Um, Julie to Jack. Okay, we can write out our ratio um, with the names of the items or whatever it happens to be that we're putting in ratio. Um, the same way we can do with numbers. So Julie to Jack. So we want to know how much money does each receive. Well, their ratio that they split uh, their profits is 4 to 5. So we have to figure out how many parts are there in total between both of their take. And so that will be simply adding them up. Julie has four parts and Jack has five. So the total is nine parts. So then we can figure out, okay, well, if there are nine parts and they made 90 pounds, uh, we can figure out that each part is 90 pounds or each profit per part is 90 pounds divided by how many parts? 90 divided by 9, 10 pounds per part. Okay, so we've already said that Julie to Jack, the ratio is 4 to 5. Okay, and so we can figure out what Julie's take is. So she has 4 parts out of the total of 9 that are here, right? 4 plus 5 is 9. So she has 4 out of the 9. Well, there's 10 pounds per part. She takes home 4, okay? I actually don't need this here. So Julie will get four parts times 10 pounds for every part, and that gives her 40 pounds total. Now Jack, his take, his part of the ratio is five parts. You can see right here, five of the nine. Each part is worth 10 pounds, so he takes home five times 10 pounds, which is 50. And if we owed, add it up, both of these, the 40 pounds for Julian, the 40 pounds for Jack, well then we would get that total, which was here, of 90 pounds. Let's do another example. Rachel, Ben, and Emma are given 52 pounds, and they decide to divide the money in the ratio of their ages, 10 to 9 to 7. How much does each receive? Okay, so 10 to 9 to 7 is the total ratio here. And we need to find out how many parts are there first. Okay, so to do that we have to add them all up. So 10 plus 9 plus 7 and that equals 26. Okay, so now we can figure out um, how much money per part. Well there's 52 pounds in total that they get to split between the three of them and there's 26 parts. So 52 pounds divided by 26 calculate that, we get 2. So there's 2 pounds for every part. 2 pounds for every part. So, Rachel, well, she's the oldest. She's 10, so she's going to take home 10 parts. So 10 times 2 pounds per part. That gives her a total of 20 pounds. Ben, the next oldest, is 9. So he takes home nine parts. We multiply that by two pounds per part. So Ben will get 18 pounds. Now Emma, she's the youngest, so she gets seven parts. Seven parts times two pounds per part will give her 14 pounds. And again, if we add this up, 20 plus 18 plus 14, that gives us 52, and 52 is what we had to divide up uh, according to this ratio between these three people.